have, or rather had, a long nose. It wasn't out of the ordinary. Like any other child, I too learned to deal with the physiological characteristics conferred upon me. Admittedly, there were setbacks every now and then, but whom are they not bestowed upon? To unveil my nose's true particularity required, however, a stroke of a happenstance. The cake into which I fell appeared to be longing to reveal itself to me. It presented everything. Ingredients, ratios, baking time. I perceived it for its true nature, its essence. I saw whence it came and whither it went. And so, in the ruddy flush of this new dawn, my nose's true destiny was unveiled. It was not merely a part of my body. No, it was a vocation. It loomed beyond my mere existence. It was a promise, an acclamation of fate. It was even as if life itself had called upon me, chosen me to carry out its works. I had to answer this call, for life had spoken to me and to no one else. Though first, I needed to see. Tellingly, it was an apple that fell into my hands first. I commenced my attempt and they did not disappoint. Things willingly revealed their deepest secrets before me. And at the end of this day, I knew everything. But it did not take long before the realm of things began to bore me. After all, it was life itself that had summoned me. I resolved to approach a potential subject. Yet her mind was perhaps too artless to grasp the momentousness of my endeavor in its entirety. How could I further my research? Was it not my task, even my duty, to fathom life, to permeate it? And then I knew what I had to do. Night after night, I set forth. It was marvelous. Yet the biggest secret remained concealed. First, I thought it to be a common cold. <coughs> But it was more. Much more. So I could have continued my research forevermore, had not my condition continuously worsened.
my body became a painful embarrassment. Physicians couldn't have helped me. After all, it was I who stood on the threshold of new realms, a figurehead in the light of the new dawn. I had to take the plunge. But what would come to pass? Who would I be then? And my research? my goal. Too late, I realized that it had never been life that had summoned me.